Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, and you know what that means. It's market outlook time. Taking a look at the market this week in Foot's birthday week two, and talking about what kind of market movements we could see, what can we expect content-wise, and what can we expect to see um, maybe objective-wise, maybe new promo at the end of the week. Is that possible? We'll talk about that as well. But Right now, uh, Squad Battle Rewards just came out a little bit ago. We are coming off of one of the highest rises in the weekend league uh, in terms of just cards rising in price in general uh, that we have seen in a long time just due to a lot of coins being injected into the game and a lot of people just being on the game right now um, because of uh, because of foot birthday, because of the, the quarantine and stuff. There's a lot of people on FIFA and that has the market very, very high. This Man, I'm telling you, this Makalele Thursday after rewards was over 500k. Sold a couple times over 500,000 coins. He's back down to almost 400k flat. Uh, and that's basically an out of packs card, right? Mid icons are out of packs. We take a look at some other cards in the market. I've been looking at these all day. You can tell that I don't have a lot of coins. I have gone absolutely in. I have gone almost all in on out of packs in forms, uh, especially some of the shapeshifters, some of the winter refresh players, and some of the cards uh, that were in the foot birthday party bag, uh, the party bag SBC that we got today. Uh, and I wanna talk about that and what happened to the market today for those as well. But some of these prices are still really low. So as you're watching this video, what I would encourage you to do, wow, this is low, man. 630 for this, no way. Show me like a 610 or 620. Oh. That is getting cheap, man. This Bruno Fernandez was like 680. Over, it was over 700K uh, this last weekend. I actually do know that for a fact. He was over 700K at one point. But what you can do right now, and this is this is if you're watching this video almost right away, is um, especially before it gets too far into the day on Monday in in the UK, into the UK time or whenever wherever you're at when you're watching this video, as soon as you possibly can, get on the market and look for some of these undercuts, especially on open bids. I bought, I think I have like five or six of this Mateus Cunha today. I'll take, I will take that for 228 with the, with the Hunter Chem style. This guy was 280,000 coins this weekend. He's back down to 230, under 230K. I'm literally going broke on some of these cards, uh, on all of these cards today, because uh, I just think that they are too cheap. Will they rise back up throughout the week? I think that's a yes, especially because of what has happened today on the market with the SBC that we got. And I want to talk about that SBC right now. I have to go to the end because I've actually done it. But the foot birthday party bag SBC came out today. Um, we were all expecting the guaranteed foot birthday SBC to be later this week. And like on Thursday, right? I was telling you guys yesterday, I was like, hey, um, this SBC probably coming out Wednesday, Thursday. If we're talking about a buy time for these new foot birthday cards, team two, uh, we're probably going to be looking around then for a buy time. Well, today or last night after I dropped the video, uh, like two hours after I dropped the video, EA decided to add this card or this pack code in the game, which is uh, a guaranteed shapeshifters, winter refresh, or foot birthday, just team one foot birthday player. So uh, they added that to the code and today it came out, cost around 200,000 coins to do. Not the worst value ever, but there's definitely a lot of players you can get in it that are not good. I got Mares. Um, but this is the type of SBC that when you can get a guaranteed promo player out of it and it's not too expensive, people go nuts for it. That has caused high rateds to absolutely fly. We're talking doubling in price for some moments. These 89 rateds. I saw Chiellini today was selling at 90,000 coins at one point. Um, these 88s, the 87s, like high rated stuff. Anything that's 85 or above, I think 85s didn't go up that much, but... Anything that had good links uh, as as a SBC card went flying today. And I'm talking like these 86s are down a little bit now. They were 30K plus earlier tonight. These 87s were, were all like almost 40K. These were 50K. So, dude, the SBC fodder is crazy, crazy high right now. Um, and the SBC today wasn't that expensive. But the panic that we saw on this and all the selling that I saw today, since we had this SBC happen now instead of later this week. That's why I really set, really think that this market is due for a bounce back later on this week, because what else is there to do in the game? What else is gonna happen this week that people are kind of looking forward to or looking ahead to, right? All we really have is player SBCs yet to come out for this promo. We don't have more cards coming in packs. 
We don't have to really worry about another guaranteed SBC to come out. Could they re-release this SBC or make a separate just foot birthday only guaranteed pack? Yeah, they could do that on Thursday, but at least for Monday, at least for today, tomorrow, and maybe into Wednesday, I would expect that the market does rise up because there's a lot of people on this game. Of course, people are going to be grinding objectives, right? Um, but they're also just going to be buying players, trying people out, and uh, doing stuff on FIFA. So since there's a lot of people that have time and they're on the game, that's why I expect the market to rise back up. Some of these prices that we got on these cards today were literally incredible. This Valverde, I got for 605,000 coins. This guy was six. This guy was 700K at multiple points this weekend. He's back to 630, 640 right now. I'm a fan of that one. I got the Shapeshifter Mertens in the panic. I got a bunch of him for 268. Um, I got a Trent at 180. I got some Ikones right around 220, 230. And I got a bunch of this Mateus Acuna around 220 to 230 as well uh, with some Mbabus at 440, 345. Especially on the open bids, some of these card, these deals have been fantastic. This Bale, 320. I sold this guy at 380 this weekend. Lucas Mora was 140K this weekend. And his uh, Team of the Week Moments card is, um, I think, like 118K or something like that right now. I was trying to get him for like 115. Okay, he's bounced back up a little bit. Some of the cards have bounced back up in price since I started buying them. And since they were, you know, after squad battle rewards, some people start to buy things, especially like investments. A lot of people, uh, I don't know if you guys know what Patreons are, but a lot of Patreons go and tell people to buy cards um, on squad battle rewards nights. So some of these cards have rebounded a little bit, but some of them are still pretty low. So as you're watching this video, my best recommendation to you would be go check out um, Footbin. I'll go check out Footbin. Scroll through some of the old team of the weeks and just look at some of the current prices. Two twenty. I'm about to buy some more of these Ikones, man. I'm. This guy was 270k this weekend. If I see any more under like 229, if I saw like a 227 uh, or anything under 230, really, I would buy that card. So the way you can look for some of these undercuts is basically go to Footbin, look through the team of the week page. And just look at the panic selling today. And I want to talk to you about when you're, oh my gosh, 615 for Bruno. That's a fantastic price. When you're looking through cards that are being sold off from the weekend league sell off or that are getting panic sold, the one number one thing that you should, you should consider in terms of how fast they're going to rise back up is popularity and rarity. Because it depends. These shapeshifters, that's why I bought shapeshifter Mertens today. Because some of these guys have already rebounded back up to where they were. Conte was under 700 today. He's now back to 720. Alexander Arnold was at 180. He's now back to 200. Um, some of the promo cards, you just kind of have to make a mental note when cards are really rare and when some of the team of the weeks are really rare. Mertens is still around 270, which I think is really low. This Mbabu was 340 this morning. I picked two up. He was now 366. Atal was under 600 for a while today. He's still lower than what he was during the weekend league. Um, but then looking at some team of the weeks as well, just kind of remember which ones are rare and which ones were not as rare. This team of the week moments right here was very rare because there was not lightning rounds. There were not any pack supply SPCs that came out during this week. I sold Bale at 387 this weekend. He's got a new promo card. He's got some hype. I bought three or four Bales today, all under 330. That was a good buy. Um, but you know, I like the Lucas Mora buy because he's cheaper than what he was when he was in packs. But I'm a bit skeptical on this team of the week because they had a lot of investing happen. There's still a lot of people that have these cards on their transfer list. And these cards had uh, lightning rounds. They're, they were out during the first set of foot birthday. So that's why I'm always curious. And the older you go for some of these promo teams, you know, some of these guys are really usable. Luis Felipe, 205K. That's a crazy low price for him. Anything else in here? Malin was 127K this weekend. Wow. Footbin says Ikone was 226. Can I get some of that, please? And I get some of that. He's still 230 over here. But looking through, again, and remembering popular league, popular nation, um, and just rarity. Those are the most important things to look at. Greenwood was 740 earlier today. Um, this was 270 at one point. Rodrigo's pretty low. Dembele's pretty low. So some of these cards have rebounded a little bit. But if you start to take a look at some of their graphs, you'll figure out and you'll notice that some of these guys are still pretty cheap. Delaney, 190. What was he at this weekend? What was this card at this weekend? He was at 240,000 coins. The man is 190. So I don't expect these cards to rise back up to their prices that you saw on Friday or Saturday, this middle of the week. 
I would expect to see a guy like Delaney, depending on who gets into team of the week moments this week and, you know, what people are doing in foot. That's why I tried to buy some of the French guys, um, just because of all the French people that are in the French players that are in foot birthday. A lot of people going for the Bakayoko. That's why I, I try to buy some of the French guys. Um, but I do think you could expect to see some rebound in price and possibly getting back to around, you know, maybe he could get to 230 or to 220 again. I think that's very, very possible to see him back along that price range. So one of the things that I was looking at in past team of the weeks to really figure out, is this card dropped enough to make it a buy? I was looking through their prices and I would look to see if they got lower 314 for Kyle Walker. What was he last week before rewards? So last week he was 325. He boomed at 362 on the weekend. 314 for this Kyle Walker, that would be a card I would go look to pick up, right? That's a perfect example. He's lower than what he was last week. We have a lot of coins on the market right now. And he's he's lower than what he was last week. It seems crazy, right? So let's go Kyle Walker. Can I find that one for 315? I doubt that it's there. 330. All right. Well, I'm still going to add that to my transfer targets because of course, flipping right now is showing that low price. So that's the kind of stuff that I think you guys could do. Again, I've put a lot of coins into cards um, because of that today. Some cards have already rebounded. Uh, Cancelo today, the foot birthday. I think he's like 190 something K, 190 K plus. Yeah. He's almost back to 200 K. He is back to 200 K. This guy was 185 K this morning. Uh, I see out of packs. This is one of the most popular used cars right now with a new Premier League right back uh, with the, the five star skills. A lot of people seem to like this card and they're using him. Uh, it is a good card, but he's got a lot of hype. So he, that's why he rose back up so quickly today. Um, the foot birthdays were the ones that had panic selling in the morning and then rebounded the fastest because of the SBC. But I do expect more of a rebound later this week in terms of just a whole market outlook. Kind of like it happened last week, right? We saw with the Kyle Walker back here to flipping for a second. We saw with the Kyle Walker that he was 325 on Sunday and then he rose to 339, 340 by Wednesday, right? So that's a 15K gain, right? That covers your tax. If you bought the card on Sunday, he rose back up. I see that happening again this weekend and I see the market going high this week on Thursday rewards because think about how many people played weekend league this weekend with the extra player picks that were out and available. So I would expect to see the market do well this Thursday. So what other content could we see during the week this week? Um, this was supposed to be a Champions League week. So I do expect us to see some sort of uh, pack supply during this week. Um, you know, they have the throwback UCL marquee matchups. I think they'll do something along those lines. And it seems like they've been throwing in like the pack supply SBCs. Um, like, you know, we had the champion. It was one of them or like um, they've had some names like straight to the top, I think was an SBC name too, possibly. I would expect on Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, we get some sort of SBCs that are Champions League related uh, since this was a UCL game week or was supposed to be um, before the whole competitions and everything got shut down. So I would expect some more of that. And that could also drop these uh, foot birthday prices a little bit lower. I've been watching this Lacazette tonight because a lot of people want to try him out. He got low with rewards. He was 1.050, so 1050, 1.05 mil at rewards. I would expect some of the foot birthday two players that are pretty hyped up that are, you know, more rare. Wow. Di Maria, it says is a million coins. Di Maria is a mil. This is a card that I would be interested in because he fluctuates a lot. Wow, man. Di Maria has got a bunch of supply over here. If I'm, as I'm looking at the market, that's crazy. That's crazy. He got supplied a bunch of rewards, but a lot of these guys have dropped down because of the reward supply. Hernandez is under 400. Pug was at 2.6. Uh, Van Dyke won three. Lamar's down. Literally all these guys are down because of squad battle rewards. Uh, and I would expect these guys to rebound a little bit into the week. They could take a hit if we get some sort of other repeatable SBC um, that would give tradable cards in the market. Not a repeatable, but a, a pack supply. So if they give a pack out, it's like a 45 or a 35K pack supply. They give multiple of those this week. I do think you could see a little bit of a drop on some of these cards. Wow, Di Maria just popped under a mill over here on the screen. But if you're looking to buy any of these cards for Foot Birthday Set 2 um, and you want to try them in the next day or so, I wouldn't be like, you know, buying Di Maria for under a mil right now. That's, a, that's just crazy low. That's just crazy, crazy low. And it's you kind of just have to gauge the hype on the card to know is it going to end up being worth it for you. 
Uh, this Douglas Costa is one of the most hyped up cards um, in this set. He's also one of the most supplied. It's under 600,000 coins right now. Um, and I know I'm going back and forth from flipping into the game a lot, but I want to show you this. Look at the most used players. You this is a good way to tell, especially with uh, Team of the Week investing, which players will rise out of packs because they're the most demanded. Take a look at this number right here. Number of games played. 3,000 games played, all right? Let's take a look at some of the rest of the team at some of the most hyped up players. And how many games played do they have, all right? Let's go for another cheap player, DaCosta, right? A lot of people can afford him. He has 1,400 games played, all right? What about Lasagna? He was extinct for a while, might not be the best example. 1,100 games played. What about a guy like Di Maria? You know, a million coins, 1,700 games played. Lacazette, Premier League French striker, 1,900 games played. Seriously, um, maybe Theo Hernandez, 1,400 games played. Like Pogba probably has 1,000 games played or less. He's just so rare on the market. The cards that are more expensive, that are more rare on the market, they always have less, less games played um, because there's not as many cards on the market. And that's how Flipin calculates how much uh, use these cards get and how many games have been played. But as of right now, Lamar and uh, Douglas Costa are the most used players um on this game in this in this promo set and douglas costa with 3,000 games played nobody really is even kind of close to that lamar is the second close closest um so i do think that this douglas costa card will rise out of packs but i think that it still has more room to drop this week because again the supply on the this card and a lot of these for birthdays the supply is pretty crazy there's a lot of supply on these cards 594 right now 595 for douglas costa I wouldn't be surprised if you saw this at 550 at some point this week. Um, that's just my take. It's my hot take, I guess you could say. Uh, so just be on the lookout for these cards dropping a little bit in price if you're interested in trying them. Um, just be careful with that. I'm also, wow, 1299 for this. I'm really curious about this card because um, this Van Dyke is really rare and it's a solid stat boost. I know he's got the five-star weak foot. That doesn't matter a ton for a center back, but it's kind of nice. Um, there's a big difference between his like team of the year and then his inform and then this card. So I think this card will be a riser out of packs personally. Uh, so I'm kind of watching that one. But again, I would just expect for this week on the market to see a little bit of a rise in, in card prices. SBC fodder hopefully drops a little bit when the foot birthday SBC goes away, when the party bag SBC goes away because Man, some of that supply or some of the prices for the SBC fodder right now is literally incredible. Um, I'm not a person that trades with SBC fodder a lot, um, but man, today, if you bought some SBC fodder, then you are making some big, big money because uh, those cards went up a ton. I'm not going to buy any more Mateus Cunhas. I already have a ton of them. I don't want to buy any more, <laughs> to be honest. I just want to play it safe. Uh, but I will take a look at Bruno Fernandez. I mean, this guy's getting pretty low. I might spend my last bit of coins on this card. Um, and I think this card's 629. I think this card's price has been held in check a bit because of the player of the month still being in the game and it being a higher rated version. After that player of the month goes away, which is in seven days, I think. I think seven days. Player of the month Messi goes away tomorrow. And uh, Bruno Fernandez goes away in seven days. So after that, then you might see his informs go up a little bit more. Um, but basically right now, if you're wanting to do any SBCs, they're all at a premium. We got this today. It's not even worth doing. It's like 370 K because all of the SBC fodder is crazy, crazy expensive. You have one last chance, one last couple of hours to do some 81 plus double upgrades. Will they refresh these or will they put something else in? I don't know. Um, I kind of hope they put the same ones in because these 81 double pluses have been really nice to me and really nice to a lot of people this week. So I kind of hope they refresh those. And then I want to spend the last little bit talking about what promo could be Friday. Um, a lot of people have said, is team of the season coming Friday? I don't think so. I don't think that it will be team of the season coming this Friday uh, because I don't think EA can make that decision uh, before they really know if, if the leagues are going to end. I, I, right now, I think, especially the Premier League, I think in my mind, um, from what I know, has not officially been called off yet or officially been canceled. Um, it's still kind of hanging in the ropes. They're trying to figure it out. So um, I don't think that we'll really get a team of the season on a normal time. That's just my opinion, but we honestly have no idea. And that's completely up to EA. Uh, obviously, it's a crazy circumstances. So they're going to figure something out. 
Um, I honestly think we might not get a promo this weekend. So we might see a, a nice rise on Thursday rewards, probably not a loading screen. Um, if they do want to run a promo, I mean, okay, EA Sports, go for it, do it. But um, I really don't know what that would be. I'd be really curious to see what they do if they did run a promo. And the, the other question I had was, are they going to do a guaranteed foot birthday SBC? If EA wants to drain coins from the game, which they have a prime opportunity of doing right now, if they wanted to run a promo this weekend, I think they would drop another guaranteed just foot birthday SBC on Thursday. So that's something that we might be looking for in the pack code. If it comes, it does. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But I would expect, again, maybe another foot birthday player this week, another flashback, um, another player moments SBC. So maybe three to four more player SBCs this week as we round out the foot birthday promo and then some rising prices throughout the week as well. Um, that's kind of how I feel this uh, this game is going to go this week. Should be an interesting week on foot. Um, a lot of people are probably grinding objectives as well. That's going to be a main grind this week to try to get this Bakioko. Um, I'm going to try to go for it, I think, because it just looks like a really good card. Uh, and then, of course, a couple other things you could grind in here for too. I mean, yo, to be honest with you, boys, if you guys have never hit level 30 before, or if, if you hit level 30 pretty often, I'm level 20 right now. Like, I don't play much at all. I did icon swaps. I did, I don't do objectives, and I'm only, and you know, I might get Fred. I mean, there's still 18 or 17 days left in the season, right up here. 18 days left on this season. Um, so I'll be really curious to see. I think a lot of people will end up getting to level 30 that maybe don't because this season is so long. So, um, that's something that I'm actually kind of hyped for, that I might hit level 30 uh, and get myself a nice little Fred that I could, you know, link up to, to Rashford. So that'd be cool. But um, that's kind of my market outlook for this week, boys. It's kind of just kind of an up in the air. I don't know. It's going to be a great week to trade, though. A lot of people on the game. Last week was great to trade. Um, and with uh, SBC fodder so high, low budget trading is going to be fantastic as well. If you want to do anything this week, since the fodder is so high, hit League SBCs because League SBCs are going to be very very profitable. If you pack one walkout, I mean, you're looking at walkout 86 rated. You're looking at like almost 30,000 coins uh, for those cards. So that's a dub in my opinion. The SBC method is probably a grind this week that you could put some time into and be profitable from. So that's my last word on that. But that's the market outlook for this week. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.